can and obviously dilapidated truck pass the MBIS check to get its registration renewed by the LTO. Motoring Forum tackles this mystery. It had to happen. Media, the legit kind, as well as scores of YouTubers and citizen journalist wannabes out there follow operations of government agencies like the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority, the Land Transportation Office, or local government units. They post what they record on video or even live stream on such operations. Some take in views, followers, and subscribers, and in the process do some public service, such as sowing problems on the streets that need government action. Online news reports and posts on such operations make for compelling drama, fodder for comments, likes, and shares. Others more so when anomalies are highlighted, like what happened at one street clearing operation of the MMDA. Videos of the street clearing operation went viral and much of the commentary were about very dilapidated trucks. Described in the comments box as the zombie truck, the Frankenstein truck, a rust bucket. The truck looked like it was pieced together from discarded parts of old vehicles, but it was not its looks or that it was still running that caught interest of eagle-eyed denizens on social media. It was that the truck reportedly had a valid ORCR which begged the question, how can such a truck have passed roadworthy checks to get its registration renewed? The online new report much shared and commented upon social media certainly got the attention, or maybe it was brought to the attention of Land Transportation Office Chief Teofilo Guadis III. Aside from the Frankenstein truck, the videos that went viral online showed aging public utility jeepneys belching smoke, again begging the question, how can these PUJs have passed emission tests to get their registrations renewed? Reacting to viral videos, LTO Chief Guadis vowed to investigate the mystery of how the Frankenstein truck got its registration papers. Noting that anomalies were obviously committed in the registration of the Karagarag truck, as well as with smoke belching jeepneys. Gladys was quoted in news reports as saying, We will not tolerate this kind of illegal activity, and I assure the public that heads will roll. Aside from our efforts to improve our services to the motoring public, the LTO is also relentless in its transformation journey to rid the agency of scalawags and other misfits he had. Commentaries from the viral video suggest that it should be easy for the LTO to clear up the mystery of the zombie Frankenstein truck. If the truck's documents are authentic, there should be a paper trail, digital or otherwise. Where was the truck registered? Who at the LTO or PVMIC signed off on its roadworthiness? Or what PETC certified that it has passed emission testing? Who is the truck registered to? The registered owner should be able to tell how and where the truck was registered. Officials of the LTO District Branch or Satellite Office where the truck was registered can and should be able to shed light on the mystery. The LTO has promised that heads will roll once the mystery is solved. The public should hold the LTO to this promise. And that's our Morning Forum this week, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.